Recently, California's minimum wage has been hiked for $20, especially for the fast food industry, but it's going to be expanding to several other sectors. And in fact, certain sectors will be even getting $23, $25, even $28 an hour, and possibly even higher as time goes on. And here's the thing about California, it's a very expensive state to live in. And I'm all down for people to make more money, but they really need to consider their budgeting. I mean, a pleasing the masses is pretty easy. Just hike up the minimum wage as high as you can. But what about the businesses? What about your own coffers? California is going broke. In fact, there's even going to be a group of people in California, possibly the near few decades, that probably won't even get any pensions to retire because California is so deep in the red. You know, the minimum wage hikes, it's only going to make things worse. Now, check this out. California already has the second highest unemployment in the United States at 5.2%. And that's not even accounting for the 10,000 job loss that happened because of the $20 fast food minimum wage. And 10,000 is actually a very generous number because it's way higher than that. People say that the unemployment rate is most likely going to be 7, 8% by the end of this year because of so many people being laid off. And it's 25% higher than the national average of 3.9%. If you look at Florida, they're doing really good. Unemployment's at 3.2%. California is already facing a record $68 billion deficit, and that deficit is growing. And check this out. California is also promising higher minimum wage for the healthcare workers. I'm cool with that. But really think about this, right? You know, a hospital has a lot of different employees. When people think of hospitals, they always think of like the nurses, the doctors, those types of people. But what they don't know is there's several other people in the hospital that are not medical related. California increased the minimum wage for every single person in the healthcare field to $23, $25, which right now California has delayed this bill because they're not really sure if they could pay this sort of money long term. And look at this. Many of the unions are advocating for higher pay, like $25. But now the state has estimated that the minimum wage increase could be costing California state around $4 billion a year. That's because the state will have to pay for the wage increases and in different healthcare facilities and more reimbursements. And right now, we're going to be seeing California owing even more money. If you guys think that California's budget deficit of $68 billion is a lot, it's going to be growing even faster. At the current moment, Newsom and his team are probably looking into this. The whole reason why he really delayed this whole situation is because he started to, hold on a second, California is legitimately going broke. You know, the American population is growing every single year pretty fast, but California is one of those rare states where the population is actually declining. Why is that? It's just so much anti-business, high crime. Some of the biggest corporations have left California. Restaurants are leaving California. Mom and pop stores leaving California. It's so anti-business. California can no longer compete with other cities and other states who are very pro-business, like the places in Nevada, you know, Tennessee, and Florida. California is kind of screwed at this point. If we look at California's public employees retirement system, they have a pension debt of nearly a trillion dollars and it's only 72% funded. Not even like 90, 95, 72%. Where is the other 28%? As California struggles to address this alarming budget deficit, big bills are coming due for retirement. And many people want that retirement money. You work for several decades for the California public sector. You want retirement. I mean, it should be given out. That's not even a question. But right now, Chicago, like the city, and also the entire state of California are just a few examples where pension debt is rising so high to the point that many employees probably can't retire in the near future. In my personal opinion, that's one of the scariest things out there that could ever happen. And right now, you even have a lot of restaurants and a lot of corporations literally protesting, complaining, and showing action that California is just so dangerous to business like Taco Bell's literally closing their dining rooms in Oakland because of high theft. Just one of the major issues going on. This is a very relatively small issue. We got San Francisco, LA, San Diego, all the same thing. High crime, high homelessness, business moving out, and it's doing it at a really rapid pace. And right now, California promised a 25 minimum wage for healthcare workers. Newsom delaying it means they probably don't wanna do it. Massive budget deficits. I'm not even sure they can even get the retirement system back in the green because it's super deep in the red it's frightening to be a california employee right now